Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and I'm currently sitting in my car in the middle of Manhattan. Literally, you can actually see the uh, Empire State Building right over there because today is an exciting day. Now, I plan on doing like a full another video about what's happening today, or at least in the next month or so as things are getting done. But today, Julia is moving her eyelash studio. That's right. This is a business she started back in 2017 in our house. She had moved to a location on um, on 60th Street and then moved over to Grand Central where she was in this building and had two different rooms. And now she's moving on from a like 75 square foot room to a 400 plus square foot room with a balcony. And so today we're taking down everything inside that old studio, pretty much cramming it into our car Think about that for a second there. It's not that much stuff. Cramming into this car and then driving it to the new place. And then tomorrow we'll pretty much redesign her new studio into her dream place. So I want you guys to come along with me. Um, she's not here yet. She's actually doing a class right now. But um, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's do this. So I want to start this video off by saying something very important. I am beyond proud of my amazing wife. You gotta remember, she's not from America. You know, when she came here from Ukraine, she had nothing. And now she has such a successful business that she needed a bigger space to offer new services, hire people to actually work for her, and then on top of that, just finally have a full-sized salon. And I, I can't get over how amazing she is and all the life accomplishments that she's had since she came to America. This truly has become the American dream for her. And so as we're moving into this studio, there's a whole thing of emotion that I have to get through because once again, started from our bedroom in Queens, New York to this amazing place in Manhattan, it's, it's great. Now right now you'll notice as we're going through everything, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I know tomorrow we're gonna have to go to Ikea, get a bunch of stuff. We're gonna be drilling and hammering things and whatever you wanna call it all day. And hopefully we'll have the dream studio that she wants. And right now, the reason why I'm actually sitting in my car for the past hour and a half is because she is currently getting her tattooing license. That's right, she's offering this new service. Once again, all these services that I've never <laughs> heard of before. They do really well in New York City and Julia's always on the front line of them. She was here four years ago when the eyelashes popped and now it is a semi-permanent lip plush or lush or something like that. And pretty much what it is, is, you know, you get your lips, you know, instead of waking up in the morning and having to put lipstick on, you get like a semi-permanent tattoo that stays on there for like six months in any color you want and it's there. I know, it's part of her whole line of semi-permanent wake up and you don't have to do anything. You know, eyelashes will be done, lips will be done, and eventually she'll do microblading for the eyebrows so you don't have to do that. Yeah, there's a lot in the beauty industry I don't understand, but I have to admit, if it saves you time and money, I'm gonna think about how much time you would save by not having to do your eyelashes and lips every single day. How much money you would save by not doing lipstick every single day. So anyway, that's what's going on. And uh, while I wait here for her, for her, you hear me? For her, my accent comes out bad sometimes. I'm just gonna sit here and watch uh, the Empire State Building because it's a beautiful building. But uh, she should be here very shortly. I don't think I, I didn't tell her that I was filming today. So I've been waiting two hours. I didn't realize it was long, running a little over, but it's okay because I'm taking some really cool shots of the Empire State Building and then other shots of Manhattan to use in other videos, or I could just show you some of the shots now. That kind of just shows off how powerful the zoom is on an iPhone. It's uh, really crystal clear for that big zoom. I know. Here we are packing up the studio. Here's Julia working hard already. It's what, nine o'clock at night? <laughs> uh, yes. We couldn't find a Starbucks open, which is rare because normally they're 24 7. A pandemic. <laughs> the first stuff is getting put in the box. Woo! Are you gonna miss the view of the Chrysler? 
No. No, it's over there. I can barely see it. It's up there. I'm not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it? Yeah. How does it feel to have your own balcony now? Amazing. Amazing. All right, well, let's start ripping things down, yeah? Oh, oh So Julie is upstairs packing more things. I ran out of tape, so I'm walking to the local Walgreens. And slowly, like, in my mind, I'm like, wow, this is like the last time I'm walking here at night. Seeing the Chrysler. I love the Chrysler. It's one of my favorite buildings. Art Deco style. It never goes out of style. But uh, Grand Central's right here. Those all know. We've done tons of videos at Julia's studio, but you want to go back and check those out. It's just weird to walk around here, knowing it's the last night. Julie, we have the whole thing packed in here with a few little things. I'm going to quickly bring it over. It's only 10 30. Yes. Whew, here we go. And this is what we're moving into. It's a lot more space, Julia. You can fit about four, five, or, or seven of your other studios in here. And here's the balcony. We gotta unload, so we'll be back. The next day. Okay, it's Saturday. Man, oh man, last night was insane. We got home past midnight, got a lot done. Still a lot to do. We have, I, can we drop on your mouth on the floor? On the floor floor. On the floor floor. And is it in the floor floor? Uh, we have to go to Ikea, Walmart. We have to go to a couple other places. Go back to the studio, go back to our old place. Finish taking everything out. Go back to the new place and start putting everything together. It's going to be a fun, long day. And I know this video is going to be long because we figured to do it all in one video versus part one, part two. But uh, Julia, we're just waiting for her to get her shoes on and we can go. Take your time. Take your time. You're not Russian, you're Ukrainian. That joke is so good. I thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll thank you. Thank you very much. Right? Is it boring? Right. Anyway, let's do this. Ikea. It's a place where families come to fight. But what? why is it that every time couples go to Ikea, they always fight? Huh? We don't fight in Ikea. Uh, yeah, we do. Don't. Yeah, we do. Don't. I like this one. I don't like the color. I don't like this one. We fight about everything in Ikea. No, we only go to Ikea when we really do need something and I already have an idea of what right. I'm getting in Ikea. But, but truth... And I already did a research. Don't right. truth Yeah, me. but truth be told is that we came to Ikea a week ago to pick out everything. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. And we didn't so, fight. We just picked it out and then we came back to buy it. That's it. We don't fight in Ikea. I don't know who does. Ikea, one part so far. Ooh. Yes. You can never tell if doing this stuff is fun or just extremely stressful. Because they market it as fun, but it's stressful. So we're running into this crazy thing where last week we were here to make sure that I have everything we wanted and so on and so forth. And now we're here to get it all. And they're sold out of everything. Everything that we needed today, they're sold out of. I don't know what happened. I said to Lane, like, what? What's going on? She said, I don't know. Randomly, everyone just sold out of everything. So now we're on our third thing that they don't have in stock. I said earlier, it's fun, but very stressful. Because I think the other closest wall, um, the other so yeah, IKEA is like a good like 35 miles away. So not fun. Gosh, I seriously feel like this IKEA is robbed. <laughs> they don't even have the brackets we need. I have to get these other ones that are like probably not gonna work. Whew. Not fun. I'm laughing because the girl that was next to me who couldn't find something says, <laughs> I have like no surface in here. It's like they purposely make it a dead zone so you have no idea what time it is and you can't contact anyone for help. <laughs> We're leaving Ikea with more than less of half of the things we needed. And why we didn't fight the we stress of getting Ikea is like, ah, why? So, nothing was in stock. Yeah, but like they try to make it seem like it's fun. You get your stuff. But boy, is it stressful. My favorite part is as the lady, you know, when you get everything back in stock. Oh, they restock everything at night. They have all the stuff. It's just sitting in the back. Yeah. So, fun. So, it's like we have to go back tomorrow, though. Fun. So much for getting it all done in two days. That would be three. But maybe Walmart might have some stuff. All right, we're at Walmart. We'll see what they have. 
And if there's anything that they have here that they didn't have at Ikea that we can get, like a shelf or something. All right, we got some stuff, some cleaning supplies. That's about it. They didn't have mirror or the other cart. But we're just going to go ahead and check it out. I mean, tomorrow we'll have to go back to Ikea. But um, hopefully now we're heading into the city. We're finally in the building with the first step. Whew. Once we're done here, we'll run back to the old studio, get that stuff, come back and start putting things together. At least what we have, because there's still a lot we don't have. Thanks, Ikea! Whew. Wow. I forgot about the tornado of a mess that we left in here last night at 12.30 in the morning. We just wanted to get home and go to bed. It's going to be a lot of work. But, whew. We'll fast forward a few hours. We're going to go back to the other studio, grab that stuff, the beds, the chairs. It's all dinner, bed and chairs. Bring it back here and then start putting this all together. All right, let's go. All right, we're back in Julia's old building. Not much left that we need to really take out of here. Let's do it. Let's take a look at those guys. Let's go get the other chair. You can see totally different <laughs> than what it was yesterday. But we're running short on time, so I can gra grab this, this, and then these things, and that's it. And like this, we're done. I'll probably do a full tour in a second, you know, this big little space over here. But one thing I want to share with you is the view. I'm going to miss the Chrysler building. So this is going outside. Grand Century is literally right there. And the Chrysler. A little dirty because of the window, but you get the picture. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff to the car and get out of here back to the new place. Is this it, Jewel? Is there anything else? Yeah. I'm going to start putting stuff together. So this will be the before video. <laughs> Stuff literally just thrown everywhere. We don't have everything because of what happened in Ikea, but it's gonna be cool. Instagram wall, mirror, mirror shelf, another bed, reception, chairs, things on the wall. Can be a tattoo artist on your own? We're making really good product. What are you, what are you yapping about over there? Julia was complaining that you couldn't find the knife to cut things open with, the utility knife. And she says, what, co what color should it be? It should be bright pink so you can find it. Peel it, peel it, peel it, peel it. Joel, should we show them what it looks like so far? This is what time, what time is it? 10, 10? 10.05. 10 10.05, so we started at what time this morning, 11? 11. Ish? From Ikea to Walmart to <laughs> you name it. And um, gosh, this is where we're at. We still have a lot more to do. We have yeah. the neon, the reception desk, we have more chairs, more shelves. we have more shelves. So this is just, we have another chair over here. So this is just like a, how much percentage of wise do you think we're at? Maybe 65. 60, really? That low? So maybe 70. Oh gosh. Anyway, all right, so let yeah. me show you what we have. <laughs> See so here we are, we're probably gonna get a bigger sign. <laughs> Here's Julia, reception desk is gonna be here. Put this shelf together. Mm -hmm. Got our art back here, chair. This stuff is going home or being trashed. This is the coffee area, little coffee tray here. We're over here, waiting area. There's gonna be a neon sign over there. We are waiting for a bar stool here, but this is a little makeup area with this really cool mirror with the LEDs in here. You could turn on and off. Julia wants one for home, but not yet. We need it for work, Joel. Um, this is the balcony entrance. We'll go outside in a second, but we have two beds. So Julia can do a client and have some work for her. A lot more space in here, I think. Yeah. yeah. And you can go outside there for the balcony, but this window's already open, so. We can see Manhattan from here. Ugh. Probably can't see too much, but. That's Hudson Yards that way. These are people's apartments, and yeah. No Chrysler building, but it's Manhattan. So what do you guys think? I'm so proud of this girl right here. So proud of her. A lot more things to do. But before you know it, I mean, how was your, ta how was your tattooing going? It was you, awesome. You love it, right? It was awesome. 
Looks like you're ever in New York City and you want your lips. What they, what's the service called then? That is Lip Blush. Lip Blush. Or Semi Permanent. And call Julia. Tattoos. Make sure you follow her on Instagram too, because we're going to put up a ton of photos of this place as, you know, as it gets more and more and more. Now it feels like home. Like it's starting to feel homey. Yeah. I like this a lot. Anyway, thank you for joining us. This, we'll probably do another part once we finally open. Uh, we'll do a grand opening party once COVID is done. But uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, Julia won't love you. Right? You won't love them? I love them. Woo!